everybody and welcome back to Beauty Swirls. So today I'm going to be doing a video showing you guys different little random hairstyles that I like to do when I'm wearing my lace frontals. The hair that I'm using in this video right now is from New Star Hair. I'll leave all the specs and deets on this hair in the bottom bar below. I do have a lace frontal with four bundles. The bundles are 18 inches. I have two 18 inches, a 20 and a 22. The lace closure is a, I think a 16 inch or 18 inch, one or the other, I'm not sure. Um, the color is a natural color. It's in a loose curl texture and that's my favorite texture to wear because it's nice and curly. So this hair is more effortless to wear. You don't have to throw in a lot of curls and it drops and all that good stuff. It just comes curly. So. I like that. <laughs> it's medium luster, so it looks very natural. There's so many benefits for wearing lace frontal wigs. I mean, come on, you don't have to leave no hair out. It looks natural. And this is a glueless and sewless wig that I did. What I use to get my edges down like this is the Got To Be Ultra Glue, Ultra, ultra Glued. I use this on my lace closures and that keeps it down tight, you guys. And the only thing that I need to do to get it off is put a little water and it comes right off. Doesn't damage my hair, doesn't damage my skin. My new favorite way to wear my lace frontals. So I do recommend you guys go ahead and create your own lace frontal. I'll leave all the information on this hair in the bottom bar below if you wanna go ahead and check this out. I do have a video showing you guys how I make my frontal wigs. You'll be up to par and you can go ahead and do all these hairstyles that I'm about to show you guys. So enough blabbing, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so we're gonna start with the basic hairstyles, and that's the styles that you don't really need to use any kind of hot tools. So first I'm gonna start with a typical ponytail. First hairstyle, side ponytail. You can also add any kind of braids to it, you can add fishtails, whatever you wanna do. Next up is the half do which looks like that. One of my favorite looks. You can also turn this into a bun. So this is the next hairstyle. All I did was braid it down on the sides like that. And it just gave it a little extra oomph to it. And of course you can play around with your ponytail, you can curl it up, you can braid it up, whatever you wanna do. You can even put it in a bun if you want everything out of your face. You can also wear it down into the back like that. You can even add two ponytails like this, if that will look right right there. <laughs> but you can add two ponytails like this also. This next hairstyle is just two ponytails and you know, half out in the back. Really cute. You can also wrap it around like this. I see this a lot. Mine look a little ratchet, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you would take a little bit of time on your buns, but that is a look that you can go for. It kind of reminds me of the Spice Girls. This is the next hairstyle now. I don't really know what they call this one. I guess you would call this like a, a quarter do because it's not half. I don't know, maybe a, a, a third do ponytail I don't know but I really love this hairstyle I wear this hairstyle a lot the next one is just a typical throw your hair back and call it a day so that's what that looks like of course I would have took a little bit more time to make my curls pop a little bit more add a little water and the curls will be um, activated again but this is just a quick look I want to show you you can just throw it back just like that or you can add a middle part Let's do this. I'm gonna take my curling iron. Take in a couple of bobby pins. And you have your 
middle part going to the back. Next, we have the typical middle part with the beautiful curls going down, just like that. Really quick curls because this is loose wave. It's gonna curl really easy and it's gonna last much longer than like straight hair or body wave. So here is the side part. I love this look. This is my favorite look to do whenever I'm trying to feel a little bit glamorous. Also, if you want to have more body, all you have to do is just, you know, back comb it at the top here. And that's going to make it, you know, lift up even bigger. You can also back comb your hair if you want to have a big, you know, nice big curly hair. Just back comb it. I'll just use my fingers or a wide tooth comb. And that will make it even more, you know, big and beautiful because big is better. <laughs> you can even have it more in your face like that. You can even pin it up, something like that. You can also just go straight for the pin up look. Well, that was a fail <laughs> trying to rush through this and it didn't come out right. But you guys know what I'm talking about. The little puff ball that you would put in the front there will be really cute with this hairstyle. All right. Now, another one that I would like to do is take out the bang part here. Then you're going to take the other half of your hair. Just like that. And then you're going to just work on your bang area. Punch it up, take that, maybe even either put it with part of the ponytail like that. First look. Half do with the bang out. You can also just throw it in a bun. You can put your bang behind your ear if you like. So it'd be something like that. So I think that is all the hairstyles that I wanna show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That really helps out. That lets me know that you guys are liking the videos. Don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. All the information will be right here. So let me know what your favorite hairstyle was in this video. Leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear which one you thought was the best. I think that's about it, you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one.